yeah, I think it's just like keeping our chins up and just we're all like thankful. Like Coach, or Coach Rook even said, he just said thanks to us just for being a part of like an amazing season this year, an amazing run, and like just all that we've accomplished and done for Beaver Nation. It's been an amazing experience, and not to forget that. The you guys lose an eight-point game with like midway through the second quarter, and then UConn kind of went on their run to take control. Just what do you, what happened during that stretch? Do you think that kind of allowed them to take control? Yeah, well, they hit shots, and then we couldn't respond, and that's kind of crucial in that when they're hitting these tough shots, and you gotta you gotta find a way to hit back, and we failed to do that. Yeah, it was, it was just kind of I don't know. It was a special moment in itself, like just giving Coach Rook that kind of final hug. Um, but I want, it's cool to come off in Indy. You know, it's like you want to be here this last weekend and just so proud to be a part of this team for this past four years as it wouldn't have been anywhere else. I don't want to say it was UConn better than you even expected, but is it is it fair to say that that is the best team you guys have played, not even just this year, like throughout your college career? I would say for sure. They're definitely all they're cracked up to be, and um, they just – they're so disciplined and they make you pay for every mistake that you make, so the margin of error is just so small. Ruth, how proud are you of how far you've come in your career to get to this point? It's your last game right here at the Final Four. It's been a crazy experience. Um, definitely couldn't have imagined this coming in, but just every step kind of felt like a progression and it's been so much fun and I've been just so honored that the coaches like picked me to come and be a part of this program. I know you've talked about it probably with the big group out there, but what was the feeling the team had in that first half? Because you get down 20-48, then it's 32-24, there's life. But then they kind of just shut you. I mean, their defense just seemed to just really create big problems, especially in trying to get the ball to you. Yeah, no, we kind of, you know, that first few minutes of the game, we had to catch up to the pace, but then we kind of got our bearings about us and we're fighting. But then we just couldn't make the key runs when they kept hitting harder and harder. Even though this is hard, it's definitely been a journey that I wouldn't trade for anything. When you look at the players coming back and the foundation that you guys have laid, just what can you say about what you think the future of this program is? I'm really excited for the future. I think that we've kind of just set the standard now, and I think it's only going to continue to raise the bar. Um, we've got so much young talent, you know, with like Katie McWilliams coming in today, stepping up. Even the minutes that Marie gives us, that's huge, and she's going to be a huge role for us heading into the future. You know, you've still got Sid. You kind of can't forget about that. Right. But So it'll be, it'll be really exciting to see what they do, and I know we'll be rooting for them. I mean, the personality and the mentality of you guys, this whole – this whole season really it's like nothing has phased you guys nothing is you know you get down okay we'll, we'll figure it out so was there kind of a moment when you sort of like okay this is this is slipping away this is probably kind of the end of end of the road for us yeah you kind of start to realize especially in the fourth quarter you realize okay this is like it's hard to recover but you never like give up hope you're always still fighting in every possession just trying to do the best that you can just you know playing those last few minutes out you kind of forget about the result you're just playing your best basketball in those last few minutes because that is the last exactly last minutes, yeah sure. it ends up being the last yeah, yeah. yeah no i know that sucks too so it's okay